What's up, folks? We are at Sardis Lake today. We're going to have a great episode. I got my partner, Mike Geiger, with me, and we're going to be putting sickness in Sardis Lake. Check it out. That's right, folks. We're at Sardis Lake in Mississippi. This is my first time visiting. I'm excited. Sickness, let me just tell you, folks, has been running incredible. Everything's been working great. I'm excited about the tournament season, uh, season ahead of us. And uh, I get to introduce you to my new partner, Mike Geiger. So looking forward to that. Enjoy the episode, folks. It was a ball. That's right. We're getting back down into Sardis. Mike's backing me up. I'll introduce you to him. He'll be my partner, tournament partner this year. And uh, we're doing a little adventure heading south before a huge winter front comes through. It's going to be fun. I've never been on Sardis, so I'm really going to learn from Mike what this lake has to offer and where to go, that type of thing. And uh, we're going to be adventurous. So stick with us. We're going to be doing a lot of jigging. I noticed we got the 13 footers out. So, uh, I assume we're jigging for these fish. All right, so we're on the water, heading to our first spot. This is Mike Geiger, your first look at the partner for 2023. And uh, we are going to be doing the Elite Series on the Crappie Masters, so we look forward to that. This is just a little venture to the southern states for a couple days. Enjoy the time before the... Uh, big cold front that comes through here. So let's get some fish, let's get some fish in the boat. Let's do this. All right, there's our first Sardis slab. Good solid fish. White as a ghost, right? So Sardis experienced a very large rain, and I don't know if that was the reason for this or not, but these fish were not going to move for the baits. We had to put it on their nose. It had to stay on their nose for us to catch these fish. They made it easy for us. As you can see on the screen right now, I'm gonna blow it up right here. These fish were in our face, uh, making it easy for us to do this, but at the same time, uh, they were shallow, so we had, to, we had to pitch at them 14, 15 feet. Um, not the easiest bite, but we definitely get it done on the day. We had a really good number of fish, a lot of good sized fish as you're gonna see, but not the, the the bite that we were hoping for um, because they would not travel for the baits. If you weren't straight on their nose and if you didn't hold it there, um, they were just were not gonna react to it. Here we go. Here we go. He's out. There it is. Take him off. Yep. <laughs> he, was, he was supposed to be bigger than that. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> That's a tourist fish down here. That's our biggest fish. Look at that white crappie. That's awesome. That was fun. Oh, yeah. He's good. Oh, we're going to find out. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> now that's fun. That's a good one, though, man. <laughs> That's fun. Go ahead. So after a while of that, we decided we we're going to move up the lake. I wanted to learn about the lake too. We went to a lot of different coves, but we moved up the lake at this point here and we caught a majority of our fish in this section of the lake. Without a doubt, every turn we were finding another great mark, a lot of great fish during this winter season. Different one again. I don't get one that's aggressive eventually on this size. I'm gonna start to say it's the size. You got a pretty small size though, Lauren. I said you've got a pretty small size that you have. Mike gets on the board. Good fish. All right. So it's hard for me to tell you exactly where we're at, but kind of north. I guess it wouldn't even be the northern part of the lake. From my understanding, it's a very long lake, but four or five foot of water. 41 water degree temperature. What do you think, Mike? I think it's a little chilly. It's a little chilly and uh, fish are a little finicky, to be quite honest with you. They're not moving very, you can go ahead. they're not moving at all for the, uh, the bait, we had to put it literally on. That was actually the first one that might have been slightly aggressive, I would I would say. So fishing with a combination of baits, 
Uh, right now I'm really messing with a lot of these, uh, I think they're crappie magnet baits here, big baits. Uh, I don't know if that's the answer or not, to be quite honest with you. Um, I'll probably switch back to a hair jig. Mike, you're using a hair jig, right? No. No? Just, he's got a big fish in front of him right now. But just kind of giving you a view, here's a, here's a really good target right there. And uh, we've been few, few, uh, fooled a few times today already. But look at that, that is a monster fish. Could be a carp, you never know. There's one on the ground down there too, but just having a lot of fun, learning a lake, never been on, and that makes it a lot of fun. <laughs> you have to work at these fish on this lake right now. I mean, put it in their face. Good fish, folks. All right, guys, we just ended. We had some really nice fish. Of course, they're going back. Uh, we kept some just to take a picture. But I'll tell you, Sardis had a, a tough finicky bite today uh, that you really had to hold it on the fish for a long time to get them the actual bite but the the key was to basically force feed them and uh, we ended up catching a ton of fish a lot of these guys On to our next adventure. What a great day. Please subscribe, three pound fishing. Mike's gonna be on the next couple episodes and sickness is working fantastic. So uh, appreciate you guys. Have a good one.